Hey everybody, so today we are going to be talking all about Thulite. No, this is not a big piece of bubble gum. It is Thulite from Norway. And you can tell Thulite because it is usually all the exact same color pink. Just a bubble gum pink, big old rock. And this is what we're looking at here. And this, the original Thulite, is from Norway. So if you're purchasing Thulite, the original place it was found, which was in early 1800s, was Norway. There are other spots to purchase. Well, there's a lot of other spots this comes out of. Russia... Brazil, Australia, um, what's the other one, uh, Nam Namibia, so there is one area in North Carolina that this comes out, but it's not true Thulite, so whenever I'm getting Thulite, I usually stay away from the stuff coming out of North Carolina, because it's clinothulite. Similar, but it's not exactly true thulite. Looks similar, but it's not the same. So, if you are purchasing it, that's my first recommendation. I would make sure you get the Norway version, because that's where it originally came from and originally found in the early 1800s. So, what can thulite do for you? Thulite is packed with love, compassion, happiness, joy, all those loving, compassionate energies. It, that's what Thulite is all about. Just those four words in a nutshell, love, compassion, happiness, and joy. The, these are, again, subtle energies when you're working with Thulite. And it, it does have a nice vibration, though. It's, but again, it's not like super, super powerful. This We're talking subtle energies. It, it's going to slowly soak up. All those energies are going to soak up into your aura, into your energy system, and permeate the heart chakra. And this is what Thulite is all about. So one great thing is it works directly with your heart chakra. So when you're holding this, whether you're meditating with it, it's all about the heart chakra when you're working with Thulite. So it kind of bridges between your heart and your mind and it, it aligns the heart and the mind and it just fills you with joy and love. And it's an awesome kind of like a, just an unconditional love feeling when you're working with this. And you can definitely feel it. So what it does when you're working with this and meditating with it is it's gonna bring all those old emotional, all the emotional pain right up to the forefront. So you get to work with it. You get to feel it. It's in your face, all these negative experiences and energies. So it might be in the beginning a little extreme because it allows you to release all of that stagnant energy because it brings it all up to the surface. So when you're first working with it, keep that in mind. Yes, this fills you with joy and energy or uh, just that joy and that happiness and compassion, but it also is going to, in the beginning, give you all those negative old emotional pain. It's just going to kind of bring it up so you could work with it and release it. And that is also something amazing for people with past traumas, uh, PTSD. That's another one that's fantastic. Bringing all that out and just expelling it. And the more you work with it, once you get through those layers of just that past trauma and that kind of heartbreak and old emotional stuff, then it opens up new 
just avenues where you could really feel its energy and really delves into the uh, to everything. As I'm looking at this, it's looking back at me. Look at that. I just realized this. I'm looking at like here and it looks like a face with its little smug grin and a spectacle. I see a nose and I see the other eye kind of like, what are you talking about there, buddy? That's it. I just look down and see a face looking at me. So there's Thulite. And the one thing, the best thing with Thulite is for people that have a broken heart. This is the one you want to work to, like just work with. If you have a fresh, hurting, broken heart, it sucks. Everybody's been there. This is perfect for working with it. And this is the one to pick up if you're suffering and you have that broken heart. It provides comfort. It's like an emotional support stone through light. And it's like, it all, it feels like a warm hug with its energy that, you know what? Everything's going to be okay. It's going to just be like a warm blanket of loving energy, just shielding you from, it also shields you from negative stuff too. I mean, it's just going to completely comfort your entire emotional being, heart chakra. It just get rid of all that negative heartbreak and just fill you with loving energy. It's perfect for heartbreak. And it also shields you while it's doing that from negative energy. And it's beautiful. And it has a little face. Hey, buddy. So emotional healing is what Thulite's all about. That's what I would recommend using it for, meditating with this guy. You also do want to make sure you cleanse it. Uh, similar to like a serpentine or it, it kind of soaks up that energy. So you want to make sure that you cleanse this, whether you're saging it, running it under water from your faucet for a little bit, just before each use, pulling off all those old stale energies. But this is a great one for heartbreak, my number one for heartbreak, and fantastic if you just feel, even if you don't have a technically a broken heart, you're still feeling kind of down and you need that emotional support. This is a great go-to because it's just going to give you a big old hug of loving energy. Awesome, beautiful energy working with Thulite. Again, it, a lot of times these the energies off of this isn't going to be like mind-blowing. When you're talking about crystals and minerals, you're talking about subtle energies. The more you work with it, it's going to just be easier to work with each time but you want to let that energy slowly soak up your entire energy body your aura and let it do its thing and always i i love the one from norway some of them have a very light almost whitish pink the one from norway here is like a very deep pink like a, a very deep bubble gum. So that's about it for Thulite. I find it very beautiful. It is really easy to work with. And I don't know how easy it is to find. I, I To be honest with you, <clears throat> I don't see Thulite in crystal shops usually sitting around I mean, once in a while. But it's not like, I guess, super common. But easily you could find this online. And even where, when it has the white like that to it, it's still beautiful between the white and the uh, pink. So that's about it for Thulite. So if you're feeling down, you're feeling heartbroken, that's your go-to right there in the crystal world. Thulite from Norway. And it's the stone of joyful energy. That's actually what they call it. And it's true, the stone, of, the stone of joyful energy is 
the perfect, perfect description for this. All right, guys, I will see you next time. And we will, again, I've been having so much fun lately. Um, I don't know if you saw any of my cutting videos, polishing. I'm just loving cutting up stuff, polishing it. And it, it's been fantastic and fun taking everybody on this uh, adventure with me, just showing you all the cool creations. And I, I, I love it. I'm loving everything lately. Channel's doing really good. So thanks everybody for all your support. And I'll definitely have to do some more. Um, I'll have to do a video with uh, this Thule light right here, actually making some cool stuff out of that and, and slicing and polishing it up and see what we can make. So stay tuned for some of that as well. All right, guys, have a good one.